So walking back this way, on my left is our huge espalier apple tree for a cooker apple. And on the right is the perennial sunflower. And down here again is where we mow, have mowed for years and years and years. Yes, hello. And as you can see, we have yellow clover here. There's plantain and there's daisies. So a lawn doesn't have to be grass and you can mow wildflowers. Isn't that right time, Kitty? So walking back in between, these are the beautiful perennial sunflowers. And here you can see what I love about this espalier apple tree is the ferns growing in it. You can see down there, the ferns are growing as well. Underneath is um, periwinkle and several different kinds of um, hellebore and some geraniums. But look at that for a tree trunk. Isn't it magnificent? So we're always mindful of looking after this huge uh, espalier apple tree. It's known to be one of the biggest freestanding espalier apple trees in all of Ireland and more geraniums are underneath it. But we come over here and that fuchsia I was showing you at the beginning of this video, this is the mother fuchsia. And I take cuttings, I've got to start taking cuttings from this again, but it's a magnificent fuchsia and a very hardy one. So I should maybe take some more cuttings from it at some stage and put them in other locations. So here we are walking through the garden. There are some evening primroses, wonderful nighttime food for all the moth population. And we're gonna walk towards the vine house. Along here, there's a few not very well pruned espalier pears and damson plums. And this is a pear tree on the left but not very much is growing, uh, sorry, not very much is flowering uh, in on this border. There's a few things that's flowering here. It's at the end of its flowering. But here we come towards the vine house and my weed, my big back black weed bucket. I have the big, look at these are doing very well here. I love, this is a geranium that I saw and got the other day. Well, the other day, meaning quite a few months ago. It hasn't flowered, so I can't wait to see what it looks like. This is a lovely purple looking um, hosta. And I love the color of this. Um, oh, I'm being stupid. It's a kind of Rebecca. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. So yes, this makes it so that I don't wheel the barrow. This makes it, it stays stationary until somebody can remove it and I can come out and do a little weeding while I'm not feeling well. Then, oh look, as soon as I video you, you have to itch your grass seed coat. This rose is doing well. And here are all the black eyed Susans doing very well. And some of the, these are all Rebecca's all doing very well. Still, I love the purples and blues and oranges and yellows. Next year, it's going to be even better. I'm so looking forward to next year as this bed improves all the time. And I love these. They're, they're ladies bonnets is the kind of familiar name. I don't know the Latin name, but there's so many different kinds. And I have a few of the different kinds here. That's one kind. Here's another kind. You can see the differences. Then here's another kind here. That's three different ones. And then right in there, I have a fourth different one. So, and then this is another one of that, that kind of wonderful, fiery uh, Rubecchia. And look at this combination here. Anyway, I do love a good flower bed and display. It's great for um, wildlife. And this is trying to demand attention now, aren't you? Aren't you giddy? 
No, I'm not going to let you jump up on top of me. I don't have a thick sweater on. Uh, excuse me. What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? What are you doing? Come on. Good girl. Bold pup, aren't you? You bold. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I should be really showing you my wonderful, wonderful water lily. Look, it's going to be bloom more and more as the sun comes out. So this is a small rainwater tank where it is. And it's lovely. Look at that. And the sun is out. 